Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Starfield. Now last time we headed to Sidonia and we were put in contact with Adler Kemp who directed us hey, to Europa. Going? Hello please, I'm talking my dear. Um, once we'd collected a debt for him. So we went to Europa and we met with a lady called Neva. Uh, who is part of the Crimson Fleet. She's the second in command and she asked us to find and kill a traitor called Austin Rake on the Ragana. And we found the Ragana, but we didn't kill Austin. We basically told them, look, you need to hand him over to UC Sisdef and be on your way because the fleet are after you. Which apparently they did because Commander Ikande showed up with the UC Vigilance not long after and, um, well told us what had happened and has sent us now on our many way and have finally decided to stop babysitting us which is fantastic so we can just get on with it which I think we should do so let's get into it Jupa. okay Andreja what are you reading here girl you're being very loud with the pages you're either reading really quickly or you're not really reading mm, alright let's um, just have a quick peep so we have to travel to the key I don't know where the key is actually should we have a look the key, I've got the key, I've got the secret. Or I will have the key. Can you uh, show me on the map, please? Where is it? Oh. Whoa. At Cricks. Ah, so we can't get all the way to Cricks. We could go to Lunara. Is that Lunara? Yeah, we'll go to Lunara. Go there. And we are at Lunara. Lunara, beautiful. Sounds like a nice name, doesn't it? Lunara. The Lunara system. Okay, let's go. Whoa! Whoa! There we go. Just take the grab drive a minute to get started. <sighs> Cricks. Whoa, whoa, whoa! this thing this is the key I thought the key would be a why is it called the key is it in the shape of a key um should we maybe hail first clear what are you hailing for land in the key or don't <sighs> right try not to be rude when you go to see it like go to somebody's house do you just stroll in the front door or do you knock or ring the bell and go, Hi, I'm here to see XYZ. Incredibly rude. Alright. She has no manners, that neighbour. Get out of my face. You said the tank was 10k, but it was 30. Big difference on 40% of 10 versus 30. Okay. You wanted 4k, you got 4k. Not my problem. Mm. If you're stealing from me, you bet your ass it's your problem. Oh dear. Oh dear, boys. Put them away. Oh dear. Are you kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of Um, 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 hey, what's, um... Me and get caught. Is Better this Bethesda off, Jank? Or is this part of it? Like you did the fleet of favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns into a damn air freshener. What's going on? Why are the bits Hello, coming through Captain. the floor? Hi, something's something's your 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 spaceship's um I that's the hell concerning. took you so long. Forget how to grab jump or something? No. Um I had my own affairs to deal with. Job's done and I'm here, so back off. Should we mm, why did you miss me? Maybe we'd be a little bit cheeky. A little bit, you know. A little bit um funny. Please. I know she doesn't like funny. It'd be one less sloppy rook whose mess I had to clean up. The last thing I need is another Austin rate getting cold feet. You want to leave the fleet? You pay the price. Not in credits, but in blood. Oh, please. Well, I had my own affairs to do I don't with. care. Time is money and you've wasted both. That ends today. Clear? But all that aside, you made it. So now, you get to hear a nifty history lesson. I love nifty history. Is ready? Yep. Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the key. Used to be an old 
UC Military Star Station, and now it's the fleet's base of operations. Cool. Might look a little beat up on the outside, but we keep it together. All right. Um. Oh, maybe we should use a little bit of that Starship engineering. The UC builds with multi-layer hull substrate, so this station should be fine. Wow, thanks, Professor. That's... that's just terribly fascinating. Don't be rude. I'll be certain to pass that on to the maintenance crew who have to use bailing wire to keep the plating from peeling off. It is good to know that there is a maintenance crew, but your additional knowledge is appreciated. Thank you, Andreja. Anyway, I'll tell you all about the key. But it's better if I show you, too. Follow me. Don't mock people for having knowledge, folks. All right. History time. So, the key is in orbit around Suvorov. All right. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the Lock. All right. The UC I'm is here. so clever. Supermax prison, Lock, key. Huh, cute, huh? Yeah, hilarious. Can I? Can I? Hello, everyone. Oh, jeez. I'm Gail Dunnigan of SSNN, and this is Galactalk. Come My on. guest tonight Talk. is one of the most notorious criminals in the settled systems. His ruthlessness and desire for wealth has landed him squarely at the top of the wanted list for every major law enforcement agency in the galaxy. I am, of course, speaking of the self-appointed leader of the Crimson Fleet himself, Jasper Crix. Good evening, Mr. Crix. Good evening, Gail. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Oh. Yes, well, being blindfolded and then Grav jumped to what appears to be an abandoned mining facility isn't exactly what I call an invitation. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure you're not surprised that your request for an interview would come with some very specific conditions. Frankly, I was a bit surprised to receive any type of response at all. Mm. Would you mind telling me why you decided to do this interview? Because there comes a time in every pirate's life where they have to make an extremely important decision. Do they take a leap and become one of the most legendary pirates in history? Or do they simply sputter on, subsisting on freighters and deep space privateers? So are we to assume that you are taking the leap? That Jasper Crix is moving on to bigger and better things in his life. That's spot on, Gail. That's exactly why you're here. Interesting. Well then, would you mind sharing with us exactly what your particular leap entails? In due time. There's no rush. In fact, I'd say we have at least 12 hours before the authorities trace this broadcast. Plenty of time to discuss whatever you like. Oh, <laughs> all right then. Perhaps the best place to start this interview would be at the beginning of your career. Please, proceed. Is that it? Oh. Gail Dunnigan's exclusive interview with Jasper Cricks Part 1. United Colonies law provides severe civil and criminal penalties for the unauthorised reproduction, distribution or exhibition of prohibited, oh copyrighted, sorry, news footage, recordings and other, and archived information. Well, there you go. Sorry, I was reading the news, or listening to the news, the, yeah, interview. And maybe having a little drink of tea while I was listening to it, sorry folks, <laughs> if you heard me drinking my tea. Now. You've got everything the fleet needs right here. Mm. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, oh. the key credits are king. Oh, great. Well, what the hell is this? All right, all right. Hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Oh, dear. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So, you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a oh. malfunction. You know, that thing I spend most of my day dealing with. Believe me, my people are on it. Have a little faith for once. Maybe I could help you. And you always, Angel. This here is Jasmine. You need anything for your ship, she's got you covered. We'll hit up the depot next since these doors have given out on us. All right. So anyway, we were talking about the lock. 
About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. The depot. Okay. This After stealing cool. some ships, they were actually mm -hmm. able to make it up here and took over the key. All right. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. Maybe we take it. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous you know, spicy stretch, dude. Thing, <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the depot, Rook. All right. You'll be lucky if these blood-sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Don't call me Rook, please. Whoa, I'm not a bird. Whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Or a chess piece. Neva's just vining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Laugh it up. I remember that next time I need something from you cheapskates. Let's move on. Yes. Back to my story. Okay, go on. After Bloody the hell. liberated prisoners grabbed the key, Novelist they established it. it as a base of operations right. and began pirating the spaceways. That was how the Crimson Fleet began. Of course, Jasper Crix had a lot to do with all that, but uh, we'll Just a get bar. to him later. Zuri's Rook? essentials. Meet Zuri, right. queen of the rare exports. Hello, Zuri. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro and you have you prints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. All right. Speaking of which, you still owe me for that last purchase, neighbor. It's like five figures. Ooh. Don't make me collect it the hard way. No. <laughs> the hard way? Oh, no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. No. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. Don't even try right, to rip me off. I'm Bradley from the trade value authority. when I see it. I'm yeah. sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything. Yeah. So you have a trade authority here? Then we got cool. our med bay on the left. Run yep. by the one and only Clinic. Samina Love it. Mizra. Is it is it cleanish? Catch you yeah. up. If you've got the money. Always. You don't run any free Ooh. clinics up in here, you don't? What is that okay. fun doing? Nothing. That's this what. is our final oh, stop. Another one here. Wait. Over there? <gasps> you've got the last Nova. Where bog serves watered core. down drinks at ridiculously exorbitant prices. All right. And right here. What's this? Is the most important place on the entire station, the Reckoner's Core, run by the incomparable Shinya Voss. Is that Another you? Another new rook, Neva. I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. You mean Austin Ray? It's been taken care of. All right. I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. There you go. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. Mm -hmm. It's far more cost effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. We call him our reckoner, mm -hmm. but if you ask me... He's actually a pain in the ass. He's a space accountant. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. I Come don't. Hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Oh. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. All right. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss. The official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. Space account. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded in my chest. And no, I'll never know the meaning of the word humble. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Hmm. I mean... It is pretty clever. Embed the, the bomb in the chest of your... Accountant, and he'll never do you wrong because if he does, you blow into smithereens. It, it it works. I mean, it's brutal, but it works. Um, yeah, it is. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Now you're not putting one Since in me, though. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me, or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind and a certain degree of safety. Yeah. Um. So one wrong move and you're dead, yeah. 
Essentially. But I sleep soundly knowing I'm one of the few that can piss Delgado off and live. Yeah. Should I die? All of my knowledge, the accounts, the credits. It would be a mess. He wouldn't dare. He holds the trigger. But we all know that my death cripples the fleet. Call the bomb a weapon of last resort. I mean, that is a very silly thing to say to somebody who is brand new who might potentially be looking to get rid of the fleet. Because they take you out with one shot to the head and that's that. Bye bye. Have the good times. But never mind. Um, yeah, I bet you don't get out much. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the key. Leaving this place puts far too much at risk. Now, let me get you set up. All right. A moment while I convene with the core. Thanks to advanced modifications, even Bugen would envy. I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. Oh, this right. allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run of the no okay, cyber yeah. runner. All right, well. There, you're done. Well, well, okay. All you need buggy. now is Delgado's blessing. I must on. You'll be one of us. Can I? Oh, I'm not allowed to move. Okay. Um. Yeah. Any other modifications I need to know about? None, other than my chest and arm modifications. I am but a simple man. Is the interview over now? Can we get back to work? Fine. Time to make those credits. The perfect segue into my final subject. Oh Lord. Thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy. We always have a steady stream of jobs available. Oh, wonderful. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time using the computers that surround the core. Alright. Well. <sighs> yeah, sounds like we're doing Nava's a lot of jobs chosen together. wisely, we certainly will. Yeah. No, I believe that covers all I have to say. So you can run along to Delgado. Take the elevator to the upper level. You should be able to find your way from there, I hope. I'm sure I will, dude. All right, listen up. You can all stop complaining. Atrium to cargo bay doors have been repaired. Oh, good. Oh, and you're welcome, Nev. This is a gym. I've been to the gym this evening. <coughs> oh, all right. Hey, uh, hey, wow, that's that's some some workout gear, you know? I'm I don't usually trust a, shielding. You know. I got secret compartments on my ship just in case. There's Aurora here. I mean, I don't want it because there's nothing I can do with it. Ooh. Where did your stellar rise to infamy begin? In the streets of New Atlantis. No parents. No godparents. Just a homeless punk kid robbing whoever he could for the credits. Were these violent crimes? Murders? I'm a bit offended you even asked that question, Gail. Sure, a few people here and there walked away with injuries, but I'm not some kind of butcher. That doesn't sound as heartless as your reputation would imply. Well, like I said, I was just a kid. Were you ever caught by the authorities in New Atlantis? Oh, dozens of times. I'd just give them a fake name or... They just slapped me on the wrist and sent me on my way. They obviously didn't think that I'd amount to anything and didn't want to waste their time with rehabilitation. What changed that? Was it the robbery in 2218? 2218. Hmm. Oh, yeah. The Galbank archives. Very good, Gail. I see you've done your research. That would be when I rounded up a few of my buddies and we knocked the place over. Made off with a ton of credits. <sighs> my first big score. Is that why the Crimson Scar decided to bring you into their ranks? That's right. They brought me in, taught me the ropes, and I did crimes for them for oh, five years. Till I decided I wanted more. I got rid of their leader, put myself in his place, and started running the show. I've been the one in charge ever since. Was it absolutely necessary to cut his throat and leave the body on a public street in the well? 
On the street, reputation is everything. I wanted everyone in the city to know that Jasper Cricks was taking over. I think they got the message. I'd say so. Jeez. All right. Cool. I wonder if that counts as evidence. Probably. Probably not. Good lord. Ooh. What's this though? Peak performance. Permanently adds 5% to melee weapon critical damage. We will take it. Thank you. What are these? Chunks apple. Ooh, exercise ball. Sorry, Andreja. Oh, and is this just target practice? Yeah. Okay. Can we... We can just take these? I will, then. I bloody well will. What's this here? Ooh, thank you so much. A bit of paper or something. Why not? If they're giving it away for free... I am not going to uh, pass it up. All right, chill out, box. God, bunks. Clear. An incense burner. I don't really want an incense burner. Ask Jazz about any ship upgrades. Nothing worse than a pirate ship with no personality. All right, dude. So, okay. Well, let's check out the bunks first, shall we? As well. Might as well have a little peep. Games. Eh. I say check out. What I mean is loot. You know me. I can't help myself, folks. I am a loot goblin. You know this. Captain Klepto. <laughs> I can't help myself. I don't really want that. All oh, that. Oh, God. For pirates, they don't really have much, much good stuff, do they? Do I get my own bed? That is, that is an outfit. Yeah. Sorry, I was just looking at your outfit. Calm down. What happened to this locker? Why is this locker turned over? Did somebody just take offence to the locker? I don't know. Whoa. Well, this 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 is smuggling, stealing, pirating. There's a lot of ways to earn some scratch and a rep. Mm-hmm. Is there anything in this basket? No. I thought there might have been something in there. Can I can I just just, just... Ma'am, please, thank you. Antibiotic injector. We will take that. What's that? Chunks pie. No, I'm not hungry right now. Excuse me. Thank you. All right. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's a little cramped. And imagine this being your bunk. You come to go to bed and there's a pile of trash on the side. Cafeteria tray. Don't really want the cafeteria tray. Okay. Well... As long as you put the fleet first, we won't have any problems. We won't have any problems anyway, because you won't be messing with me. Because I am the law. There it is. Lifts. Okay. What else? It's just a pile of junk. Yep. Bar. What's in the bar? The last Nova. Should we have a little nosy in the last Nova? What was this? The clinic and the depot. Hmm. Okay. So this is the clinic. Hello. How y'all doing? Need some medical assistance? No, I'm 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 quite all right. I'm just checking out your facility, if that's okay. Yeah, it all looks pretty reasonable, doesn't it? They're quite well set up. All right. What about you, madam? Oh. I think Need just... something? No, I'm 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 quite all right, thank you. I'm gonna check out this bar, cause I'm curious. The last Nova. Apparently they charge excessively. Fleet, you either put up, shut up, or die. Your choice. I suggest that you, sir, take option two. There it is. All right. Shot glass. Ball. Ball. It's a ball. That was my impression of um, the parrot I watch called Apollo. Apollo and friends on YouTube. He's very clever. Some people drink coffee to wake up. Me? I have Bob pour me a shot of whiskey and never go to sleep. That is not a good way to live, just so you know. You need sleep. Sleep's very important. They really like their aurora in here, don't they? My god. Alright, I don't know what's going on here, and do you know what? I don't wanna I don't wanna know. Is that what uh yeah, personal groomery on the side as well? Okay. This just, just, 
That is very loud. I used to work for the Accord. Yeah. Fleet. If you need credits, you know the mission I don't need credits, I got plenty of credits. I'm just I'm just nosing around in your bar. Though I'm gonna be leaving very soon because my god, the loud. Grunt issue 04. Ballistic weapons permanently do an additional 5% more critical damage. We will take it. Thank you so much. Good god. Alright, Bog. Bog, what a name. Oh, hello. Well, do you know what? Can we use this? Can we have a look? Drinks. Some of the mates have been complaining about watered down drinks like it's my fault we're serving this pee. Not my fault they haven't been putting in the work to keep us supplied the way we should be. Maybe they should spend less time hanging at the bar and more at the mission boards. Ah, okay, rats. Ooh, Neva's on edge lately. Part of it is vouching for Rake, but she's been burned before. What bloody changed is the timing. We're spread thinner than Marmite right now and the whole crew knows it. Maybe this new rook will pan out, but if things keep going bad, it's going to be like rats leaving a sinking ship. Yeah, yeah. You'll be all right. Don't worry about it. Are you looking to start something? You want to start something with me, brother? Because I will. And Andreja will. Look at this thing she's got. My God. Imagine that firing at you. Let's get out of this bar. It's very loud. Ever so loud, and I, I don't like loud. I'm an old fart. We don't like loud. We don't like that new age music that's so loud. Oh, that's better. Right, okay, let's... Um, Every time I see Radley smile, I want to punch him in the face. That's fine. Let's let's go and deal with this for now. We can explore. I, I will do a little bit more exploration off... Um, off screen so you don't have to watch me faffing about because that's what I'm doing right now, I'm faffing about as only I can Hello Anybody in? What the hell? Oh it's like a, like hooker pipes Okay, fine Alright Um. Hello? Hello Command centre Alright, hiya Ah, there are some other new recruits. So you're Delgado, are you? You look like the space version of Zorro with a cape on. Is it a cape or is it just your, your jacket? I don't know. All right. So, now that we are all here, mm -hmm. it's time to get down to business. Let's get down. The two let's of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, right, let's just say they won't be joining us ever again. All right. Neighbor's willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for you, which means... You've got what it takes to join the Crimson Fleet. Oh, well, thank God for that. Do you know what? Um, <sighs> I won't disappoint. You'd I better never not do. disappoint. Or you'll find yourself answering to me. Personally. Ooh. All right. Let's get started here. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. No one retires. The only way out is death. You stay loyal, or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Fleet before family. Fleet before yourself. I'm quaking in my scales, son. Believe me. All right. I hope that doesn't include fleet before breakfast, because I like to sleep late. Should it just be a little funny? Um. Yeah. Hey, if you've got a problem, I can decorate that wall behind you with your brains. Room could use a little color if you ask me. Shut up. It's all right, neighbor. I admire this rook's backbone. There you go. Takes a lot of guts to crack jokes with the threat of death staring them in the face. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Mm -hmm. Since you two seem so eager to move forward, Let's get to your next job. All right, go on. Pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Where we are going, you're going to need it. We're going somewhere cold. Oh, God, don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one of your little initiation runs. Oh, Lord. Okay. Ten Johns to the surface, 12 dead Rooks. You'd think by now you would have given up on that goddamn campfire story. 
Crix's legacy is no story, neighbor. Mm. We've got fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. That's fine, we'll do it. I hope you're right, Dale. That new code we grabbed for the lot cost us a ton of credits. And a decent captain. This initiation, as Neva calls it, is your chance to see where it all began. On Suvorov with Jasper Grix. Mm, all right. Grix led the riots that gave birth to the Crimson Fleet. And if his legacy is still out there, we're going to be the ones to find it. Okay, so we're going on a treasure hunt as our first job. All right. Um... So you take every new pirate on these initiations, yeah? Of course. Where else could I find such a perfect location to weed out any rooks who'd be wasting the fleet's time? All right. Well, what's this code then? Yeah, this code. What's a code? Through a bit of luck and a hell of a lot of cash, Neva was able to get her hands on an access code to the inside of the lock. All right. This will be the first time someone from the Grinson fleet has set foot in there for, well... Since Crix left the place behind. It has been frustrating being this close to potential clues, but not being able to find a way through those prison walls. Well... Yeah, tell me a little bit more about him then. Go on. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. One that would set up the fleet to be a big player in the settled systems. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix's Legacy. Right. And everyone who's tried to find it has wound up empty-handed, missing, or dead. If we're gonna beat those odds, we'll first need a lead. And I would wager we will find one on Subarov. Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole search is based on a handful of words on a very old slate. All right, Chris the left words. a lot of big talk on that record. And not a lot of facts. Some of us believe in it more than others. Okay. <laughs> Don't listen to her. When we get our hands on Crix's legacy, the fleet will be operating at a completely different level. We will become more than a match for UC Sistef. Um. Yeah, we'll be unstoppable then. There you go. Exactly. Now you're beginning to understand. Okay. Enough discussion. We have got a lot of work to do. To that. to that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates into your ship's computer. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. I'll see you down there, Rook. Don't keep me waiting. Um... No, I don't, I don't really want to ask anything else, because what more can you ask? We're well, obviously going to have to go down there and kill something. Never consider trying to raise one as a pet. Imagine having your own terror morph. I wouldn't try it, dude. They aren't exactly the most tameable things in the world. Anyway, anything else here? I'd love to hear some more of that interview, but maybe we should just get a move on and we'll find it later. We'll come and have a sniff around later, like I say. I'll go. Apparently this job is going to rake in a ton of creds. Well, hey, there you go. Look at that, how quick we got down there. I will love it. All right. Well. You see, sis, death is a joke. They haven't caught us yet. Well, dude, I... I don't have any words. I, I'm, I'm going. Now, is everything sorted out here? Yeah, looks like it, doesn't it? The roof has stopped behaving weirdly. I heard Isra's sister is some hardcore mercenary. I don't know who Isra is. So. Alright. Let's go there. a satisfying moment to return to your ship. What in the world is going on at the front hey, of the ship? How are you? Okay, there we go. It just looked really weird from the back there. I thought that <laughs> something was going on. It scared me. Spooky. Okay, let's go. Oof, undock. We'll be back for a good sniff around. Alright, so... Where are we going here? Okay. Oh. Surov. Alright. Can we scare it? Lovely. Alright, so where... Ah, the lock. Oh, the key in the lock. Yeah, okay. 
I don't know why it took me so long to get that. Okay. Hello. Minus 53? How are we moving? It's extreme cold snow, you're telling me. All right. About time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Del. I was literally five seconds, so don't even start. And here I thought you liked surprises, yeah. I hate surprises. Oh. Just do what I say, and you might even walk away from this without turning into a goddamn ice sculpture. All right. And Mathis, I am running things around here, so keep your mouth shut. You got that? <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I am only going to go through this once. We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. We are not here to scrap for loot. Shame. Whatever you pick up, don't think... Don't get creative. Bring it straight to me. Oh, but that takes the fun out of it. Um, should we be a little bit funny? I don't know. Um, yeah, well, it sounds simple enough. Whatever we pick up, bring to you. Done. <laughs> it's so simple, even a rook like you can't screw it up. Hold on, no scrapping. How the hell am I supposed to make money around here? All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the Crimson Fleet, then you need to follow one simple rule. When you're on a job, you do exactly what I say. No questions asked. If that doesn't work for you, just say so, and I will leave you on this ice ball without a ship. You will be dead within hours. Yeah, yeah. So many rules, jeez. Yeah, Mathis was the one shooting his mouth off, but I don't know, understood, whatever. Let's oh, just get on with it. And there's one more thing. Jeez, how many rules, dude? Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison, but I will be damned if I'm letting them inside. Leave Andreja fine, alone. Fine, go on. Leave me. Just be sure and thaw me out when you return. Go in the ship, Andreja. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock, so let's get moving. All right. Yeah, go in the frontier. Get yourself a nice brew. Read your book a little bit more. I don't know. These guys are stupid. Alright. I mean, could you run any slower? Look how quick we are. Oh, I'm not even running that hard. Okay, what, who threw a grenade? Why would you throw a grenade, for God's sake? Throwing a bloody grenade. Do you know what? Whatever. Whatever. Wherever you store that, the smell will not be an issue. Do you want this, dude? We are triumphant. Do you want the? Do you want the bits of the monster? <laughs> this better be important. We still have to get it. <laughs> no, he doesn't. You said you wanted everything, dude. That I pick up. Picks up a handful of poop. Light them up, really. Can we, can we like, scan these things? Can we not scan them? No, we're not on the dead. Never mind. We scan you, Fleet Rook. The lock. Here's the lock. We got the key. I got the key. I got the secret. We got the key to get in this building. There you go. I just wanted to scan these these dudes. Andreja, come down. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Get ready to die! Go, go! I'm covering you! I'll never get tired of that! Alright. Alright, this way. We're going down, down. Alright. Come down. Meet your death. Yeah. Yeah. 
I would, but I need to reload. All right. Oh, hello. Go away. And you. And you. That is how it's done. Just so you know. Okay. Is there anything else? Hmm. Apparently there's more stuff over this one. Oh god, I fell. Up. Up. Where are they? Oh, hello. Here you are. Anyone else? Clear. What's that? Hmm. Something over there. Alright. Well, he's not having all of this. I'm sorry, but he's just not. We'll call it looter's rights. A bit like squatter's rights, but looter's rights. Let me scan these things. Come on now. Oh, come on. All right. Oh, there you go. Like it hurt, bro. Whoa. I'll fall down there. Hmm. Are they in here? Clear. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit too easy, wasn't it? Oh well. Never mind. Let's reload while we can. Might as well. Clear. Little weird creatures. Wherever you are. Alright. And over here. Aha, there you go. Nope. Where have they gone? Uh, apparently over here, Androidia. Oh, oh, there you are. And now you're dead. Over this way? Clear. Oh, there. They're like, they're like mini Terramorphs. What's in here? Flashlight. Hmm. A whole heap of nothing, baby. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, of course. Eh. Garbage. All right. Well, folks, do you know what? Do you know absolutely what? We are going to leave it there for today. Next time, we will continue inwards and hopefully be able to find the, um, the way to get through the lock and find out what it is that is here. But until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.